Hey, we're here with uh, Matty Erickson after the U20 800 meter where he just took uh, the gold medal. Matty, can you walk us through the race for a little bit? Uh, yeah, you know, it was a little more tactical 800 than I'm used to. I'm used to going in the, in the US and the NCAA going out in like 51, 52 and just trying to hang on for dear life. But today it was a little slower, earlier pace, a bit of shoving with the pack and then slowly just kind of winded up over the last lap and gave it all I had the last 100. Yeah, and uh, obviously very successful weekend. You're doubling back after taking the gold in the 1500. Uh, can you talk about managing all the heats and finals and uh, staying focused for, for these events? Yeah, you know, I came in uh, with the goal of just trying to do as best as I could. Uh, I knew that it was going to be a tough weekend because there's two races of each in a 48 or like two and a half day period. So I just wanted to take each race one at a time and, uh, you know, try and stay sharp throughout. and hopefully come away with the goal of winning both races, which yeah, luckily I did. For sure. Uh, you've, you've had a busy season after racing collegiately for Oregon, obviously, and now you're at Canadian Nats, and then uh, hopefully we'll see you at, uh, at Worlds uh, later this summer. Can you talk about managing such a long track season with so many races? Yeah, you know, me and my coach really sat down at the start of the year and just, like, I told him what I wanted to do, and we kind of set up a schedule that would uh, give me success. So I uh, kind of slowly built through the season. I uh, tried to peak at the end of the collegiate season for regionals and nationals, and then kind of came back down, had a few easy weeks before building up for this meet and continuing to build for Worlds. So I'll hopefully be able to have a really good peak. Uh, through my training cycle, I'll be able to peak and uh, perform at my best for Worlds. Amazing, and obviously you're, you're, like I said, you're competing with the University of Oregon. You've got a lot of uh, amazing runners and, and, and coaches and, and facilities that down there. Can you talk about your experience there and, and what are some of the things that you learn from some athletes that you can get to train with every day? Yeah, you know, it's crazy. So I come from Nelson, BC, just a small ski town, uh, East BC, and um, we don't even have a track in my hometown. So to be able to go down south and go to literally one of the best tracks in the world to train every day, Hayward Field, and uh, train with some of the best athletes in the world, you know, there's Olympians and uh, world championship competitors in our training group. It's a crazy experience, you know, it's something that you just dream of. So I've had a great, great time my first year there and uh, hopefully be able to continue having good times. Yeah, for sure. Well, good luck with the rest of your season. We look forward to seeing you at U20 Nationals and uh, obviously with a, a big career uh, with Oregon uh, ahead with uh, regional national meets hopefully in the future. Yeah, thank you very much. Great.